Thanks, Leanne. Good morning, everyone. Well, we spend a lot of time on it, talking, texting, and emailing, but many parents really don't know what their kids are sending or receiving on their mobile devices. Sexting is becoming a bigger concern in schools right across the city. With more on this, here's reporter Melissa Lamb. Melissa. Well, Kurt, almost everyone has one of these mobile devices nowadays, but one growing concern is that kids often send or receive things without thinking twice about it, and the consequences can be damaging on their mental health. Now, Ottawa Police have teamed up with the school board and are hoping that through raising awareness, they can help minimize the problem. Sexting is the sending or receiving of sexual messages or pictures on a mobile device. It affects about 50% of youth who have admitted to receiving a sexually suggestive message. Now, the problem has been a growing concern in schools. It can be damaging on kids' health. There is an um, internal mental health uh, concern. There is that, that feeling of becoming depressed. Uh, of being bullied because of information that's put out there or information that's being said about you. And as well, what we have found for the people who have approached our school resource officers is the concern about their reputation um, once they have uh, inadvertently or mistakenly or um, in a moment lapse of ju judgment had put something out there that they can't get back. Now, the information session will be held at the Adult High School on Rochester Street. And if you want to know more, more about how many teens are doing this, well, we'll break down the numbers for you at 830. And, Kurt, some of the stats are pretty alarming. All right, we'll look forward to those numbers coming up in about half an hour. Thanks, Melissa. A new bill aimed at helping police and CSIS fight cybercrime is raising questions about privacy online. The conservative bill would allow police to access Internet subscriber information, such as names and email addresses, without a warrant. The opposition is outraged, saying it allows police to invade Canadians' privacy. But Public Safety Minister Vic Tave says the bill includes limitations on what information police have access to. A new report will be released later today outlining some harsh realities for Ontario as it struggles to get its deficit under control. Nearly half of the province's money is spent on health care, and it's expected to take the brunt of cuts this afternoon. The Drummond Report will make more than 360 re recommendations. It's expected to cap spending increases at 1% per year, and we'll also take a look at revamping all-day kindergarten classes. They advise, and we decide. We look forward to receiving that advice. What we do have to do is transform the way we do business. Otherwise, we are going to be in a pickle. The report will be released shortly after 2 o'clock this afternoon. There are more troubles on the horizon for Air Canada. Pilots threatening to hit the picket lines now. 97% of pilots voted in support of a strike, but they won't walk off the job anytime soon. The union says there will be no strike while mediated talks continue. One of the biggest concerns is Air Canada's plan to set up a low-cost carrier and pay those pilots less than those flying for the main airline. Iran is taking action against the European Union after they laid sanctions against that, against that country's oil. Iran has now cut off oil exports to the Netherlands, Spain, Italy, France, Greece and Portugal. Also word this morning that Iran has started loading fuel rods into a nuclear reactor in Tehran. That's in defiance of increasing sanctions from Western countries. In Syria, a massive fire burning in the city of Homs today after an oil pipeline was hit by shelling between the government and activists. The city has endured most of the violence since the civil uprising last March. The United Nations says more than 5,400 people have been killed in the violence.